So here's where we're at. Um, you are going to be charged with murder. What? what? Yeah. You're being charged with murder, and you're going to be transported to the Franklin County Jail today, okay? Are you serious? I am. I am. This is 42-year-old Clifford Patterson. Back in April of 2020, Clifford was outside of his apartment arguing with his neighbor. As the argument escalated, Clifford pulled out his firearm and he shot the other man. The police were called and Clifford was brought in for interrogation. At this point, Clifford doesn't know the other man is dead, but the detectives plan on letting him know. You doing all right? I'm fine. I'm just, I just can't believe what happened. It's just, okay. it's just a horrible thing. It's just, I'm just disgusted with the whole thing. It just okay. didn't happen. It just feels sick. Okay. I'm sorry it even took place. I can't even believe it happened. It just happened so fast. Okay. So I'm going to read this, this form to you right here. Um, we've just taken this middle part and made it a little bit bigger so it's easier to follow along with us, okay? Mm -hmm. So your name is Clifford Patterson, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Do you want to just kind of explain to us uh, what transpired this morning? It just it happened so fast. Uh, the guy, uh, we had some words. He, uh, he, he, he came out of his house. He, he, uh, I think first of all his dog came out and he came out after his dog and he put the dog in and kind of bumped shoulders with me, you know what I mean? And I kind of didn't pay any attention. He put the dog back in the house and he came he came uh he came back out and uh and uh I was just tell asked him if they could just, you know, they could just be quiet, keep down the noise and he was like, I don't have to do shit, I'm about two seconds off your ass right now. And that, and that was and that was like I don't remember what I was like, What are you talking about? What's what you know what, what's going on? And before I know it, I think his, uh, his, his girlfriend or somebody came out and she was grabbing him by the hand and she was trying to hold him back. And before I knew it, man, he, he, just, uh, he just he just lunged at me. It was like from here to here and he was just like... Like from me to you? Yeah, and he just attacked me. And I was, I was scared of the guy, man. He was big. He was vicious. And I just... Uh, he, didn't, he didn't know I had that thing on me. I'm sure he probably wouldn't have done that. What thing are you talking about? Uh, I had a firearm. You had a firearm on you? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. What kind of firearm do you have? Uh, the Beretta 9mm. Beretta 9mm. Yes, and you had that on you at the time? At the time, yes, sir. Okay. Was it in a holster in your pocket, in your pants? Uh, I was holstered. Okay. Is it, do, you wear, do you wear, like, we wear our guns? Or? Yes, sir. Okay. So he lunged at you? Yes. And then at that point, um, what happened? At that point, man, it happened so fast. I was, I was, I was scared. I just, uh, I just, uh, I, I pulled it out and I said, "Leave me alone, leave me alone." And his eyes got big, and you know what I mean. And I just, he was, he was like right there. He didn't have a chance. He was trying to like go like this and for a split second, back up and retreating. And I just, uh, I just, I just gave this. I think I just gave it to him. I just didn't mean to hurt him or anything. Mm -hmm. I just. I just wanted him to back off and leave. When you said you gave it to him, what do you mean? I I I I I, I pulled the trigger. Okay. I understand this is hard for you, but we have to walk through everything that happened so that we fully understand. It just happened so fast. I was sure. I was scared. You know, you're the big intimidating guy. Do you remember how many times you pulled the trigger? <sighs> I think maybe a couple, maybe two. Okay. I don't think it was no more than three. I just, I just wanted him to back off, and he did. Okay. And he did. And that was it. And he, and he just kind of bobbled in the middle of the street, and he just kind of just collapsed after that. And then where did you go? I, 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 I stood there for a minute, and I was like, uh, I, I said, I was talking, I, I don't know, I was just saying, I, 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 I'm sorry, if you just, uh, I had to defend myself. I told you to just leave me alone, you know what I mean? And at that point, uh, I, I think people started to come out the houses, and I, I, I went back in for a while because I didn't want to just, you know, stand there and look at them, you know, with a gun in my hand. I just went back in the house for a minute. You went back into your apartment? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, uh... When Clifford describes the interaction with his neighbor, he mentions that after he pulled out his firearm, his neighbor retreated, but Clifford says he still decided to shoot him. The detectives will have to dig into this part more, because if the other man did retreat, Clifford could be charged with murder. And uh, I, I think I, 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 had, uh, I had called my sister and I told her what happened. I just said, I just can't believe it. He, he tried to attack me, but the guy's been threatening me and taunting me for a long time, man. He's been How long? 
I mean, it's been going on for almost about probably a year now. You know what I mean? I've just been ignoring it and going back and forth. we got thin walls. He'll say stuff through the walls, you know what I mean? What, what kind of stuff? And just saying, it's just ignorant stuff, man. Just saying, like, nigga, you don't know me and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Just, just ignorance, to just like threats. You know what I mean? The guy's a gangster, you know. Has he ever made? Has he ever made direct threats to you, like I'm gonna kill you or hurt you? Or anything? Did he ever say anything like that to you? Well, he would just say stuff through the wall. You know what I mean? Um, Not really directly toward you, but just yeah, so you could hear, hear like. It. Right, right. We just make threats, just all types of threats, just through the years and stuff. I, I kind of knew this day would eventually come. You know what I mean? And I just, I just didn't feel like being bullied. You know what I mean anymore? I, 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 I stood my ground today. You know what I mean? I did. I, 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 if, if I wouldn't have done that, he, he would have, he would have probably tore me. In, he would have got, he would have, he would have tore me. In the Was there anything in particular this morning that, that kind of set everything off that happened with you guys? Your mom said something about you going over there and knocking on the door or whatever. Yeah, I was, I was not over there knocking what on the door. What was that about? Because they were making a lot of noise and I was just like, hey, I was about 10 feet away from them like this. I backed up and I was, and when he opened the door, I was like, hey, can you uh, just keep it down? You know what I mean? I think, you know, uh, your kids or your, somebody's making noise because I sleep in the basement, no drop stuff on the floor and stuff. I asked him real nicely. I was just like, hey, you know what I mean? You think you can, you know what I mean? Get your, he was like, he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? He was like, my kids are sleeping and shit like this and then the dog ran out he ran out the dog and bunched shoulders when he threw the dog back in the house and then turned back around and he just started going off on me and his girl came out and kind of grabbed his arm he was like I'm about two minutes off of your ass right now you know what I mean and he, he, he lunged at me and so when you went over there and knocked on the door that was like that was kind of all ran together with the with the actual shooting is that right I mean there, how much time in between when you knocked on the door and when when you guys got to the yeah, did you go back to the bottom of the door and have that conversation and then go back in your house and then come back out? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't really remember. Okay. I don't remember. It just happened so fast. Did you somewhere really have the, the weapon on you at the time when you knocked on the door? No. Or did you go back to your house and get it, the weapon? Uh, I, no, I, I did. I, no, I went back, yes. I went back, yes. I went back in the house. Okay. And and then, yeah, I didn't go over there with it eventually. Okay. No, I didn't go over there with that eventually. No. And then, so you knock on the door, and you have a confrontation with him, and then you go back into your house. Right, and I'm standing on my doorstep. I'm standing on my doorstep, right. You know what I mean? And he, and he comes out again, you know, and he got his girl with him. He's trying to challenge me to a fight, you know. And, you know, I'm telling him to back off, you know, leave me alone. You know what I mean? And they finally, you know, lunged at me. And what did he say to you that made you think he was challenging you to a fight? Because he said, I'm about two seconds off your okay. ass, just like that. He pointed okay. this from me to you. He said, I'm about okay. two seconds off your ass right there. Okay. And then he broke from the green. And at that point, you had to go on. Right. Okay. The important thing to note here is that when Clifford had the initial confrontation with his neighbor, he was unarmed. He then went back into his home, grabbed his firearm, and stood on his doorstep most likely waiting for his neighbor to confront him again. Because he went back to get the firearm, he could be charged with premeditated murder. And then so after the shooting, what did you do with the gun? I, I went in the house and I just sat it on the table. Okay. I just sat it on the table. And then what happened after that? You, you called your sister. I called my sister and, and, uh, and I told her what had happened. She said, okay, I'll be over. And then before I know it, it's the ambulance and stuff was out there. I didn't really mean, I just wanted the guy to back off on me. I didn't really mean to do any really serious damage. Yeah. But, well, um, but I, honestly, I, 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 I stood my ground. I protected myself. He attacked me. He did. That's a fact. But at some point, he was backing off of you. You, you said that when, he, when you, you pulled the gun up, he started to back off. Well, well, I understand you right. Well, well, when he lunged at me, you know what I mean, I, 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 I draw him and it's like his eyes got big and froze, you know what I mean, real quick. But at that point, you know what I mean, it was just, it just happened so fast. at that point, or? No, he just stopped, like, you know what I mean, yeah, yeah. like, point blank, like, yeah. Like, like, well, we didn't believe it because he didn't know I had that on me or even had one, period, period. Okay. But before that, nothing physical happened. I mean, you guys wasn't actually fighting or something. No, I didn't give him a chance yeah. to, but if I would have drawn him at that point, yeah. he would have hit me, yeah. He would have attacked me, yeah. Did he have any kind of a weapon? Not, not that I know of, no. No, no firearms, no nothing, anything in his hands? You know, he was too big for me to be trying to fight, though. 
we, 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 I understand that, but I'm just, well, what I'm asking is if, if you remember seeing any weapons, him having any weapons. No. Mm -hmm. um, is that your gun? Do you own that gun? You did. did you buy that gun? Okay. Where did you buy it? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. You have a couple. You know, now, your mom said you like buy guns, sell guns, or you know, collect guns or something. Mm -hmm. No, I, I have them from time to time, but I only have one. Now. You only have one now? Yeah. She thought maybe you might have two or something. No, I only have okay. one. And that's the Beretta. That's the Beretta. That's the Beretta. You have a CCW from there also? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I mean, it just happened so fast. You know, I did. I, I felt threatened. You know what I mean? I was scared of the guy. And when once he lunged at me like that, I mean, I mean, he, he was he was definitely going to attack me. I did defend myself. There's no doubt about that. He was going to he was going to cause me bodily harm at that point. No doubt. There's not a there's not a doubt in my mind. Have you ever had any kind of a physical altercation with him in the past? No, no. But 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 he was saying stuff, trying to like lead up to one. You know what I mean? I guess kind of kind of kind of like trying to bully me and you know pick on me and stuff. You know what I mean? And like ten years ago, I would have probably just fought him. You know what I mean? Anyway, but I was just tired, man. I, you know what I mean? I couldn't fight this guy. He was just too big. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Once he wanted to get in a physical altercation and lunged at me and wanted to street fight, I, I just couldn't do it. I'm just, I'm just too old and too tired. The guy is uh, half my age and twice my size. I couldn't do it. Did your mom live there with you? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's just me and her. Yes. Was she out there when everything happened? Yes, I believe she was. Yes, and she was right beside me. So when he lunged at me, you know what I mean? I didn't know if he was, what he was going to do with us. I didn't know. You Did know? you see anybody else outside of the then? So you, your mom, him, and his girlfriend? I believe so. You've never seen anybody else outside? No. Okay. And, yeah, and I'm sure you probably focused on no. what was going on. And everything happened right there in the parking lot? Well, no, it happened right here. Uh, uh, right on our doorsteps, right there. I was like, I was, uh, our doorstep was right here. I was probably about two feet away from our doorstep, and we have a brick wall, and he actually walked over on our side. You know what I mean? The girl was pretty much trying to hold him back. He was pointing his two fingers like this, and once he broke away from her and done this, I just basically, you know what I mean, just draw real fast, and I, and I did it three times, two or three times. Two or three times? Yeah, two or three times. Were they, were they uh, was it pop, 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 or was it pop, pop, and then another one later, or do you remember? I mean, it was just, it was just pop. I think it was just pop, 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 and the guy, and he kind of just went like this, and he kind of just went out in the middle of the street. And he okay, so he, 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 he just stumbled out there. He was right. kind of on the sidewalk, right. and then he stumbled out there. Right. Was, okay. right, right. Clifford still doesn't know that the other man is dead, and the detectives decide it's time to let him know. Anything else? Well, if, if you don't know, um, he's, he's dead. Um, he's, yeah, I know that uh, that's not something you want to hear. Um, this is... So we're gonna we're gonna ask you for a couple things right now. We're gonna ask you for um, and this is tip, this is um, this is standard in this type. Of I did not mean to hurt you. Like, yeah, I, I hear you. I did not mean to hurt you. I would not wish this on anybody. Sure, I would. Yeah, it's a it's a. I, 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 I just wish I would have just let him kick my ass at this point. You know what I mean? I was just tired though. You know, I just I he you. was just too big. I just couldn't fight him. You know, sure. I, I probably just should have let him do it. I could have just let him kick my ass is what I should have done. But at that point, when I had that gun on me, father let him kick my ass, he could probably got a hold of that and done the same thing to me at that point. Yeah, it's hard to say at this point. You know, I, I, did, you know, I, just, I just thought the worst, and I just, I just thought, just defended myself and stood my ground. Sure. I was scared. I was scared of the guy. I was. I mean, he was, he was vicious. He was a vicious guy. He was yeah. a big, vicious guy. He was a vicious guy. So we're going um, to ask you for two, two things. We're going to ask you for a, um, no, <laughs> I just grabbed it. We're going to ask you for a, a DNA standard, and that's, we always do that in this type, type of a case, and we're going to ask you for a, uh, we're going to do a, a gunshot residue kit on you, um, and those are all standard things that we do on these types of investigations, so um, we're going to do that right now, and then we'll, we'll explain where we go from here, and, and, um, I mean, I, I stood my ground today. I did. You know, he, he lunged at me and tapped me. It was, it was a brick wall. And my, our back was against that wall. Yeah, I hear what our you're back saying. was against that wall. I hear, yep, I hear what you're saying. I mean, I mean, this is. I just can't believe this happened either. It just happened so fast. Yeah. You know? And what you just told me is it's horrible. I wouldn't wish yeah. that on anybody. No, I understand. It's a horrible yeah. thing. Yeah, it's right. um, 
Yes, I knew this wouldn't work in the worst. And if I could take it back, I would just let him jump on me if I knew this was going to happen. If I knew that that was going to, if I was going to be a that for him, I, I am not a killer. I'm not a violent person, period. But I was scared. My back was against the wall. But it shows you how scared I really was, though. You know what I mean? I, 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 my, I feel my life was in danger. I did. If, if I wouldn't have done it at that point. He would have jumped on me. He'd have been all over me. If I would have done that, he'd have been all over me. I mean, I've never done anything to anybody. I just, I just can't believe it's yeah. happened. I'm just sorry I had to be put in this situation. I if I wouldn't have done that though, he and I had that on me too. He probably ended up using it on me. I would never wish that on anybody. I'm just sorry. The law varies from state to state. But generally, when a person claims self-defense, detectives will usually look at two main things. Was the person in fear for their life, and did they have the means to escape the situation? In this case, it would appear that Clifford acted out of anger and frustration, rather than a fear for his life. So the detectives are about to let him know that he is being charged with murder. So here's where we're at. Um, you are being charged with murder. What? Yeah. You're being charged with murder, and you're going to be transported to the Franklin County Jail today. Okay. Are you serious? I am. I am. And then um, we'll, we'll start through the court process, um, and you'll be entitled to you know, get an attorney and all that stuff. So. That doesn't mean you're convicted of anything. It does not mean you're convicted. It just means we, we're going to arrest you. You're already under arrest, but we're going to charge you with um, the crime of murder right now. The crime of murder? When yeah. I was in, for what? That was self-defense. He attacked yeah. me. For what? Well, based on our investigation, um, this this appears to us to be, uh, you know, a homicide. A, a homicide? I did not attack him, though. Well, I hear you. I, I hear what you're saying. I understand your version of what happened, okay? Um, but we have some evidence and some other things that we have to look at. Um, so it's our decision right now to charge you with murder. We're going to take you to the Franklin County Jail. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I've never done anything in my now life. This, this will go to a grand jury. The grand jury will look at it, and they'll, they'll decide if they want to indict you or not. And if they choose to indict you, then you'll have, then you know, it'll start the trial process. So, but if they, if they, if they, if they get self-defense, and you want and that's what it was self-defense. It yeah. was self-defense. And if the grand jury looks at it and says no, we think this is self-defense, they won't indict it. Or if the grand jury indicts you, and for whatever reason, you know, we now we go to trial. Um, if you, if you can put on a, you know, you you have an attorney, and they can put on a, a self-defense case, then you know you. There's, there's a million ways this thing can go. So, but right now, as it stands right now, that's where we're at. I was, I was just, I just stood my ground today. Was all I done? I should, I knew I should have just let him just jump I on me. I, I, I should have just let him jump on me. I should have just let him. Jump do, on do you have any questions for us um, about how what, what's going to happen and how this thing's going to work at this point? He tried to attack me though. I, I hear you. I hear you, and I understand what you're saying to me. And we've got your statement. And that will be that will certainly all be included in our report and our information that we provide to the grand jury. So, okay. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Well, it just happens. So I understand. Yeah, I understand what you said. Well, my, our back was against the wall when he came over here. He, 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 and what was I supposed to do at that point? Well, I, yeah, I. The only thing I can tell you is I wasn't there and I wasn't in your situation, right? But you do have a duty. To you, you have a duty to try to retreat and, and that kind of thing. So, I, but, but I hear, I hear what you're saying, and I understand your statement to us. And, and like I said, that's all going to be included in the in the information that we that we give to the grand jury. So, okay. I did not deserve this. I did not. This was self defense, you guys. I, I hear what you're saying. I was, I was, I was, I'm fearing for my life. Did you see the size of this guy? You see it? God, he had I, I hear you. I do, I hear you, I hear you, okay? But right now where we're at, this is what our decision is. I should have just let him jump on me then. I should have just let him have his way with him. That's what I knew I should have done. Okay, if you have any questions, we're going to set you back in there and bring a little bit of you from that. Okay, you want to take your water with you? Clifford was initially charged with first-degree murder, but the charge, luckily for Clifford, would be reduced to second-degree instead. Clifford would take the case to trial, where he would be found guilty and sentenced to a little over 20 years in prison. What are your thoughts on this case? Did the penalty fit the crime? Should he have received more or less time? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.